had a decent season at, and it's probably been a case of what if for this Eltham side. The Big three from Mahalko to get things going for her. It's probably a little of what we saw last night at Diamond Valley with this women's side from Eltham that they... I'm not going to say it doesn't mean as much to them, but... She's been a perennial talent, of course, at this level for a long time as well. Absolutely. She's, uh, I remember from my playing days... Beautiful finish there from Dunlop. She gets her first goal. And he's Pierce. So the transition didn't work out there for Eltham by any means as Mahalko gets the wonderful pass to Tunic. She's into double figures. Over there in New York as they prepare for their home World Cup. In about 52 days, I want to say. Cook it down the floor here. Campbell tries desperately to make a stop for you know, I grew up in country Victoria and always viewed this northeast basketball arena as some of the area, sorry, as one of the richest. But the stadiums never seemed to quite match it and the investment just wasn't there. Camber with the ball in hand. Transition ball. Liddell now puts it to the floor all the way to the cup. And how about the block from Mahalko? Demoralised at the Diamond Valley home and for another one, Spectres, they're riding high. An 11-point victory and finally a score for the Spectres. None other than Alice Kunick takes away the 16 points. In the first eight minutes and kept. Oh, it's wonderful from Mahalko. Rebound and put back for two. Little contact will head to the line. Three point play. They can run it down the floor quickly depending on when Nana Wadding put up the shot. Here's Mahalko. Gets her way into the paint. Burrows meets her. Mahalko has two three point plays in a row. Seems to bring it back. I mean, single figures is where Elton will be. Well, given that it got out to beyond 23 at one stage. Oh, how about this from Cassidy Mahalko, though?